I'm Scott Ford, and I am the director of 39 Steps. Hi, I'm Julie, and I'm the sound designer for the 39 Steps. Hi, I'm Brendan Veerman. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Jake Sungook Sullivan. And I am Brendan Veerman. And we're, and we're the, the clowns. clowns. This show is about a bunch of people all over England and Scotland whose life is ruined by Richard Hannay. <laughs> So the plot is this Londoner named Richard Hannay, he's uh, feeling down in the dumps one night, goes to the theater uh, to pick himself up and then gets swept up. He unsurprisingly swept up into a spy mystery. So he's sort of running all over. It goes from London to the Scottish Highlands and back again with a lot of plane and train and car chases in between trying to solve this uh, uh, this mystery uh, that keeps bubbling up wherever he lands. How, what has the rehearsal process been like? Uh, it was great. It was great fun. There was a lot of improvisation, and it was hilarious, and, you know, the cast is just four terrifically funny people, so we had, uh, we had a lot of laughs up there, and as we were trying to figure out how to do all these bits, there's a lot of freedom for how we're going to do them, and, you know, we would keep asking the question, it's dumb, but is it dumb enough, you know? The most difficult sound to create was the plane chase and, spoiler, crash, uh, just because it's so carefully timed out with the sound, with the actors doing their little shadow play on stage, and just the amount of action that minute and a half long sequence has to convey. As an actor over the years, you inevitably run into shows where you are required to do dialects, and luckily, I have had experience with several of them in the show, in previous shows, so that was really helpful. Um, some of them, little to no experience, and in that world, um, super grateful to have our amazing dialect coach, Keely, um, work with us and help us really, you know, make sure we're doing them accurately and that sort of thing. Creating all these characters while still having this variance of dialect, is it, it's, it's so essential and it, it's hard to separate the two. Audiences should attend the 39 Steps because it is a hilarious show and it showcases everything that is whimsical and creative and uh, ingenuitive about live theater. And what a show that invites the audience along with. There is much a part of, you know, interpreting this this huge world that we're building and all these characters, right? This is the definition of suspension of disbelief. <laughs> <laughs> In the true. best way possible. I would say people should come see this play. I mean, first of all, because it's going to be entertaining, but the other thing is, uh, we're back, you know, it's time to celebrate being back and storytelling together, and it's happening all over the city right now. Obviously, it's no secret the last year and a half, two years have been really hard and rough, and um, to come back to live performance and comedy and joy is such an uplift, and um, performing is such an uplift, and it's been such a wonderful thing for me. I'm sure everyone in the cast would agree, um, and I think the excitement is gonna bubble over and we're just gonna have a great time. We're back and it's, um, we, we really wanna celebrate that and we want the audiences to, to celebrate it. Welcome back home to live theater. <laughs>